It's the Kentastic Show on YouTube. What's going on, everybody? Cowboy Nation. We just finished with the uh, draft for the first round for the Cowboys. Uh, the 16th pick went to Zach. What was his last name? Zach Marks. Yeah, Zach Marks. Um, Zach Marks from uh, Notre Dame. Tackle. All right, you guys, I want to ask y'all this question. What made, what made this pick so, you know, um, delicate and so um, better for the Cowboys for the next, say, couple, you know, five years or whatever? I'll take this one first. When you really look at the Dallas Cowboys, one thing they've had a little bit of an issue with is running the ball and maintaining consistency to running that football. Right now, you just had a depth and a starter that will last you for the next minimum four to five years, where you have him with Travis Frederick and Tyron Smith on the other side. I don't see any problem with this. Any Cowboys fan that this pick is stupid, you need to go check yourself at the door. You build that wall in the front on the offense and the defense, and you got it. Aaron Donald was already off the board, so obviously he just went out the door. Zach Martin was an ecological pick, especially with Mike Evans wide receiver off the board. What do you think? I agree with everything you just said. We were a 24th ranked Russian attack in the NFL. With that Martin pick, we just upgraded our line. That was a Jimmy Johnson pick, not a Jerry Jones pick. That was an awesome pick. And for fans to be mad about it, you need to check your football IQ. Don't worry about defense. This, this draft is deep with defensive ends, deep tackles. We would get our defense straight. Now you have somebody to protect Romo's other side. Now, another thing that I, another thing, the question I have is this. Now, with all these fans that's here that was chanting Johnny football this and Johnny football that and all the speculations going on into this draft, what do you think about, what do you have to say to the fans and stuff as far as all this hype and the media watch and all that stuff like that? You're going to sit here before the draft and tell me the Cowboys need to draft defense, defense, defense. Why do you pick Johnny Football? You already have Romo when he's healthy, and by adding another offensive lineman, you just ensure that for the whole season. Do not add a quarterback when you need a lineman, whether it's offense or defense. You take the best athlete on that court, whether it's offense or defense, have somebody that can make an impact right now. Everybody was complaining about McKenzie Bernardo. Guess what? You just benched him or got rid of him. Wow, how can I follow that up? He was right on the money. You just built a Jimmy Johnson type line. This is how the Cowboys got good in the 90s. We built our defensive line. We built our offensive line. Now it's time for training camp and, and the rest of the draft picks. And hopefully we we'll get some help in the defensive line and return to glory. I'm, I'm excited. Now, one more question for both of you guys. Going into the now to the next few rounds or several rounds, the next six rounds, whatever. You know, what do you think that we need first to last? What, what would be the, the ideal position that you will have for the Cowboys going into this, you know, rest of the draft? Uh, I would go for a three technique because that's basically the motor that runs the Tampa 2 defense. You got Will Sutton from Arizona State. Um, I would look at him then. We can also pick up a one technique even though the Cowboys really don't need the one technique that's that high, but you got Kimmy Jernigan that we can possibly pick up in the second round after failing this drug test. So there's some players still left that we can actually make some noise with on the defensive line. We'll keep it simple, basically boil down to three different positions. Number one, add more depth to that defensive line. Sure you have people like Ben Bass, Donald Crawford coming back, we signed Melvin McLean in the offseason. You got Sylvie coming back, Spencer's coming back. We're not sure about his health. I still think the first pick should be addressing the defensive line first. If not, I address 
depth and secondary. Behind some of those guys, you don't have as much depth as you'd like. And considering as many injuries you've had over the past couple years, I'd say the second thing would be either go with linebacker or somebody to add him to your secondary. Third need, I'd say go ahead and take a chance on a wide receiver, probably around round four, just to go along with what you picked up with Bird. But you're looking at this guy to possibly be your number four or number five. Harrison Beasley should be all, all right to take care of the number three spot. You got Des and Williams to start you off. I think it's about how it goes for the next couple rounds, keeping it simple. All right, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen.